Can you hear that fucking thunder and lightning? Fucking Jesus. But, this is a video. I'm currently talking to my phone for like the 13th. Look how much shit there is. I've been sat in this fucking room for like the last week. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm such a fucking nerd. I'm just, the bed, the setup. That's been my life for like the last four days. <laughs> but, I'm currently, not yet obviously, that's my sick offline screen. Pretty much defies everything this video is about. Why is there John Key on my fucking timeline? But, I'm about to start streaming, as you can see, start streaming, okay? So if you want to come watch me, click the link in the description and come, you know, come watch me. Inkquisity sent you a message. Please send message. This makes no sense. You know what? Okay then, master troll. I got a message on Twitter the other day saying, Hey, so don't enjoy your videos anymore. It just becomes the same fucking thing. And yeah, I 100% understand that. But for those of you that are watching this that don't necessarily make YouTube videos, you need to understand how hard it is to actually think of something new each and every single day. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a video here and there that are going to be entertaining, that are going to get a lot of likes, that are going to do this, this, and that. But you can't do that every day. That's almost impossible to do. Very rarely is it that you think of something that is actually going to do good and be entertaining. Physically making the video is the easy part. Actually thinking of a video or thinking of something to talk about, that's the hard bit. You ask any YouTuber that uploads every single day and they'll say the exact same thing. Which I feel. I mean, yeah, obviously someone like Nigga Higger or somebody that uploads like a once a week or, you know, once every two weeks or some shit, their video is going to be a lot better because of the fact that they've got more time to make it and less idea usage. I don't fucking know. Like right now you make a video, you spend a lot of time on a video, you've got a sick idea for a video, you make it and then that's one upload done for the day. <gasps> he sat there and hard scoped me the entire time. Oh my god, my throat's burning. <gasps> oh shit. Oh. oh my god, I like ordered a pizza before and I had jalapenos on it. And I like burped a little bit of it up and it's burning the fuck out of my throat. <laughs> I've said this before and I'm going to keep saying it. A good video is going to promote itself. You make a good video and the video is going to do good. It's not going to do good because you get fucking face one to comment on it. Maybe better than it was originally going to do, but overall it's just the exact same video with an extra comment. But trust me, if I ever think of an idea, I write that shit down straight away. My shot is actually surprisingly on after playing Destiny for like an entire week straight. But if you haven't already heard, FaZe is doing another RC. Which I guess is, you know, Banks is and, and obviously FaZe's idea of sprucing up the end year of COD. And I guess that makes sense. Call of Duty does go quite downhill. I made a video on this, you know, near the end of the yeah, everybody's starting to hate COD, everybody's back at school, everybody's like, oh, fuck this shit, man, Call of Duty's so boring, it's always been boring, it's only good sometimes, I'm gonna quit and then come back when Advanced Warfare comes out. And I guess this RC sort of makes sense. I mean, obviously it is an invite-only recruitment challenge, only to the people that got into the top 100 last year, well, this year actually. I mean, I went for the top 100 pick last year and I went really, really fucking hard, me, unfortunately. Banks, banks, pick me, Oh my great kid. <laughs> my great fucking kid. 